De La Wright, my envies. Welcome. You cannot undo what you have done. I can't trust you again. Queen Naomi allegedly slammed Ebony as she begs to restore relationship with Queen Naomi in Oni of Ife's royal kitchen. Now we have that um, while Naomi was in the kitchen of the monarch trying to make lunch for the monarch, they said Ebony had stormed the kitchen. How she got into the kitchen is unknown, but like Ebony was there. I know that some um, people are reporting that she went there, she stormed there to go and fight Olori Nami, but I heard that it wasn't a fight. She went there to get to talk to Olori Nami because you know that with Ebony, um, Nami has been very evasive. She she doesn't want to have anything to do with Ebony. She doesn't want to you know, have to talk to Ebony about anything. So uh, this high evasiveness has been one problem that Ebony has been dealing with. So now being in the palace of the Oni of Ife right now, her number one priority was to meet and talk to Olori Naomi. Now, a lot of people may be asking, what is her interest? Why does she want to talk to Olori Naomi so much? It's important to understand that Olori Naomi is the one person that holds the key to the Oni of Ife's heart. And Ebony and Oni of Ife, we are the ones in the palace, like before. The, I mean, Ebony and um, Lori Namia and Kabiesi, they were there together. They were all happy. They were okay. We never had anything. As a matter of fact, the first time that Olori Nami got angry and left the palace, uh, when she was pregnant with Tade Nikawu, it was Ebony. Ebony was the first person who went to see Olori Nami, to plead with Olori Nami to come back. Hence, you know, Oni of Ife sent people again the second time to go and beg Nami, where, you know, that name, Tade Nikawo, came. We should be looking at Tade rather than ourselves. Even though that name belongs to one of the Onis that were there, but they said it was that, you know, circumstances that, you know, prompted Oni of Ife to get Tade that name. We should be looking at Tade rather than ourselves. So, as we are hearing right now, they said they had a very beautiful relationship that is um, Olori Naomi and Olori um, um, Ebony right there in the palace of the Oni of Ife. But you know something, jealousy sets in because Ebony had always Ebony had always um, loved Oni of Ife. At that time, what was the reason why Oni of Ife left Ebony to go and marry Olori Naomi again is what we don't know. But of course, you know that when Oni of Ife met Olori Naomi, he fell helplessly in love with that girl and he has loved that girl the same way the entire time that is why whether the wall is coming back his own is now me now me now me as we are hearing so now with everything ebony is not in a good place never like right now ebony is not in a good place like it is looking as if the entire world is coming down on Ebony. It is looking as if that um, KBSC, you know, from what she would tell you, KBSC is the love of her life. KBSC happens to be everything to Ebony. But these days, um, Ebony is the least uh, one that they are concerned about. Yes, so that's what we are hearing. That Ebony is the least person that KBSC is concerned about. Uh, KBSC is busy doing his own thing, going about his own business. He could care less whether Ebony is there or not. And maybe, just maybe, I don't know if it's the distance, because one thing I know about relationship, distance do not help relationship. Over time, people get estranged from each other, especially distance relationship. But we also heard that Ebony had made a proposition to return back to um, uh, Ile Ife to focus on her marriage, leaving her accounting and restaurant job in the UK. Oni said, no, don't. You don't need to do that. Okay, so why is KBSC not really caring so much about Ebony again? It's what nobody knows. So um, Ebony has gotten to that place where she knows that, look, oh, I made a mistake. Or more, I misfired. If I had been where I was, and even when eventually um, KBSC married me, if I still had support for Olori Nami, right now, Nami probably would have spoken to the Oni of Ife on my behalf because he seems to be listening to everything that Olori Nami says to him. And so Ebony is in that place where she is thinking that if she had been in the good books or on the good books of um, Olori Nami, Nami would have speak. I am spoken on her um, behalf and maybe that is just why she is um, 
trying to, you know, get to talk to Olori Naomi. So right now we heard that she stormed the kitchen to talk to Olori Naomi. Naomi said that, look, um, 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 you broke my trust. I can never, ever, ever bring myself to trusting you again. There is no need for you to continue to um, uh, trouble yourself over uh, having a relationship with me. I would never, ever have a relationship with you, not in this lifetime. Whether uh, we are in the palace or we are anywhere, I don't want to have a relationship with you. I don't want to have anything to do with you. You have to stay on your own. You know something about trust. Once trust is broken, trust is broken. To try and fix it back is something that is very, very difficult. One of the most difficult things to do is to try and fix trust. And they said, Nami said, look, I can never, ever, not in this lifetime, can I ever trust you again. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Dela Ram. I bring you fresh and spicy juice from the sauce. It's still on the Royals. How are you guys doing? I appreciate you so much. Thank you, my people. Dela writes, if I know thank you waiting again now, I thank you from the depth of my heart. I thank you people so much. May God bless you. May God keep you. May God make his face shine upon you. Please, if you're here and you have not subscribed, please help me hit that subscribe button. Do not forget to turn on the notification bell and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. As we are here, you know, and they said, um, now because of that, they said um, that Olori Nami made it very clear to Ebony that there is no place for, you know, um, restoration of that relationship. Forgiveness, she has forgiven because if there is anything she has learned over the years is to forgive people. But to say that they come back to where they used to be, to say that she intervenes, to share, to say that she speaks on Ebony's behalf because the major reason why Ebony is going after Nami, he wants Nami to lend her voice um, to what is going on between her, that is the Ebony and the Oni of Ife because Ebony is quite aware that if Nami lends her voice, um, Oni of Ife is probably going to accept and, you know, things will turn. Now, a lot happened um, before Nami left the palace, that very day, that event that only was going for a book launch time and time again, that story has been told in so many channels. And I also have it that what Ebony did, uh, why Oni asked them to go and fish Naomi. They said Ebony came back and said Naomi was not going. Naomi said she was not going. And um, uh, Oni got angry and left with Ebony. And when Naomi came out, they had already gone. And they said that was the straw that broke the camel's back that made Naomi to go on Instagram. And they, that's the strongest thing. And that is the part that is also annoying the Oni of Ife. That is making everything look like local. Nothing is happening anymore between Oni of Ife and Ebony. And Ebony has been trying to beg Naomi to go and talk to the owner of Ife. Um, Naomi declined. I'm going to bring you more update. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.